Going everybody, welcome back to the Mina channel. Today we're going to be reviewing this microphone actually. Uh, a few days I uh, decided to buy a new microphone. My uh, fun fact, <laughs> I have a couple actually different microphones. Uh, a lot of people in the channel typically will message me and ask me, hey, what is a good microphone to get? What kind of equipment do you have? That kind of stuff. And sometimes I'm like, well, you know, the equipment that I have may not be something that you want or not maybe it means something that you're looking for and everything because everybody obviously has a different budget. They have a different kind of channel, things that they want to do and everything like that. Uh, so to, so you actually went and bought this uh, $49.99, I believe. That's the price that, that I paid for. I don't know if that's a different price or not at this time. It may be $59.99 at this time. But anyway, I played $49.99 for it uh, and I had maybe about a week or two with this at this point and today I wanted to talk about it give my first impression slight review on this product and whether I think this is a good product to talk about now this is not sponsored or anything like that I did pay for this with my own money as well and everything like that so at least you get an idea like I, my money is in the line as much as yours in this case uh, so why did I buy this first of all so um, I wanted something that I could connect to my phone or <laughs> that I could connect to uh, other kind of equipment as well to my PC or something like that sometimes I have to go out and do other things and everything like that outside of my home and this I wanted something that I could take with me so I could kind of use it on the road or use it elsewhere and everything so I was like well me, let me get some that I can actually utilize like that. Uh, not only that, but my microphone, the microphone that I typically use is sometimes out of commission because my dad had to use it as well. We kind of share this microphone together. Story in a minute <laughs> regarding that. And my uh, base, the, the uh, thing that holds the microphone, it wasn't holding it anymore. It was kind of flimsy and it was falling apart and I'm like, I need to buy a new um, a new thing to hold it, a new stand. So the whole the whole ordeal, the whole reason is I wanted to buy a new stand. And somehow while I was looking for stands, I'm like, well, some of these microphones are as cheap as a stand. In fact, you can buy a stand for $49.99. And I was like, well, if I can buy a whole stand, why don't I just buy a whole microphone with the stand? I want to check it out and everything like that. So that's exactly what I did. I bought the whole uh, microphone because of the stand. That was literally what I bought it for. But I also wanted to talk about the whole microphone and everything like that. How is my experience with it so far and everything like that? I'll show you guys what it's sounds like without any effects or without any uh, editing or anything like that and then you can kind of check out the difference and see how different this microphone is so let's go ahead and jump into it so this microphone here again I bought it from Amazon this is the box right here this is the price of uh, again $49.99 I believe and uh, this is a brand uh, AOKEO -E I don't actually know how to pronounce that at all but the uh, pr uh, again the um, but I guess what you would call it is the model number is AK60 USB set with AK35. And none of those words mean anything to us at this time, right? Uh, but I wanted to talk about how and what comes with this microphone. What, why would you buy even buy this product? And what that I would recommend it personally. So first of all, check out the audio right now without any effects. This is literally how it sounds out of the box when you plug it in into your computer or anything like that. As you can tell, it's extremely low. In fact, one of the reasons, one of the issues that I have with this microphone itself is how low and um, how thin the audio sounds. It feels like there's no punch to it, there is no body to it. It does feel kind of empty. How luckily, if, if you're like me and you can edit uh, some audio, you can definitely fix this. This is not a big issue for me particularly, whether I'm streaming or there, whether I'm recording videos or anything, this is an easily fixable thing. Now, the main thing to me is it, there is very little volume to this microphone. In fact, if you're looking at the line like I do when I record, it doesn't even go past the green or the yellow line sometimes. Now, some microphones, like the microphone I previously used, it's a much more expensive microphone. I can actually, it's almost unfair to compare this to the one I have. I used a $300 microphone microphone uh, Shure uh, KSM27 which is again a really much more expensive microphone from this one so I don't even want to bring up a comparison between the two. The other microphone has what is called phantom power. It's this additional power that draws from the um, from the computer or from the mixer, whatever you're using it, and that additional powers boost this the way that the the uh, microphone sounds. It definitely picks up a lot more. This one, however, is just a USB plugged-in microphone. It doesn't do any of that kind of stuff. Uh, condenser microphone kind of 
you know, that's what it is for and everything. Now, the microphone itself, not only does it come with the uh, value of buying this microphone itself, but you also get this pop, anti-pop right here. Then you get the stand, which is this one right here. Now the stand is out of K material. It doesn't feel like it's particularly super strong or anything like that. As you can tell, I'm hitting it right now and I'm moving it uh, up left right and everything like that it does the trick it does what it's supposed to do i don't think that you're gonna get much more for the value or anything like that and i do like the way it does feel it actually does feel pretty nice as far as the value of again the the money that you paid for and anything um one of my biggest concern is however is i do feel that the microphone is much heavier than the stand is make it to be so sometimes when you're moving this a little bit and everything you start feeling that the my the uh, stand is actually pulling forward you because of the weight of the microphone and obviously this as well as the anti-pop and everything now not only does it come with this it also comes with another um different thing here that you can apply to it it does a similar thing to this right here i just like this one better but uh you can definitely go back and forth between the two areas and everything overall i do feel like this microphone um also, i'm sorry and it does also come with a usb cable obviously because you plug it in right here it is quite long it's about six feet long you can plug it in all the way to the computer i had to buy an extender obviously because my computer is quite far away from my camera and everything so uh i still had to do a little bit of an investment here now how is the quality how is everything what do i think about this uh, so after giving you specifications after giving you what i think about and everything i don't think this is a bad microphone i think the price and what you're paying for is definitely there uh if you're buying anything music or uh equipment or a computer equipment everything related to that kind of stuff what you get is what you paid for if you're looking to get, get the cheapest microphone in the market i feel like this is going to be something cheap uh comparable cheap but it does at least do the trick it does what you need to do if you're into doing youtube or podcasts or anything like that this is definitely something a good thing to start on again it is not really expensive at all and it does a trick when it comes to what i what i do i do youtube i do podcast i do music and everything like that so to me this is particularly okay now again it does probably going to require you to get some kind of messing around in the computer to kind of get the the perfect side of what you want to do and everything like that it is definitely not the best in the market but again for what you're paying for the price and the, it is it does feel like quality is there for what you're paying for that's what i'm going to say here um uh, do i particularly recommend this again if you're knowledgeable and you know how to mess around with the settings and everything, you can definitely get the audio a little bit out. However, I do still feel that this audio is thin. It does feel quite, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but it just feels too... Um, too low on that end it doesn't feel like there's any body to it or anything now again with effects and with the correct equipment you can definitely fix that it's a definitely fixable thing but if you just want raw audio like uh, some people do which is called a plug and play kind of thing you're gonna hear something here and there which you're probably not gonna like but overall i do feel like i like the microphone i feel like it is it done the job that i wanted it for um again i do feel like when it comes to this kind of stuff what you're paying for is what it is i'm gonna give this a three stars out of five i think three stars is, is fair for it um if i were to give it in a, in a one to ten scale this will be like a seven out of ten kind of thing it, it does the job is better on average i guess for the pricing and everything and it does feel the quality is there however again the audio quality is in super 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 good but it does have some quality to it it does it's not super bad i guess anyway thank you so much for watching this if you're new please consider liking and subscribing and i'll see you guys next time